Welcome everyone. This is the getting started video for the Hunter 2.0. First, we're gonna take it out of the crate, which is really easy. Take out any of the accessories. You've got a controller that comes with it. You have your charger, and you have a packet with some tools and cables. To take the Hunter out of the box, you use the controller, so we're gonna show you how to do that. So go ahead and take your controller out of its box. And the very first thing to pay attention to is make sure that it's got batteries in the back so that you can run it. It takes four AA batteries. And to turn your controller on, you're gonna make sure all of your switches at the top are in the up position. And then you're gonna hold down both the power buttons simultaneously. You're gonna hear a little tune and you're gonna see the center screen come on. Then you're gonna take the second switch and put it in the center position, which is one click down. We need to power our robot on as well. So down here we have a power switch in the center. We're gonna turn that on. You're gonna see the power indicate. Then you're gonna hit the power button. And you're gonna see the back lights come on and now the, bat, the robot is totally powered up. Now we're ready to drive the robot out and you're gonna want someone to help hold the case in place while the robot comes out. So I'm gonna sit on this side and Sean here is on the other. You're just gonna gently push the stick down and the robot's gonna drive right out of the box. A great feature on the Hunter 2.0 is the fact that you can swap batteries in and out right out of the back chassis without any bolts whatsoever. So to swap the battery, you're going to open the two latches on the back, pull down the door, you've got three cables inside, you're going to disconnect all three of them, and you've got a handle right here on the battery, and you can just slide your battery out and slide a new one in. To put a new charged battery in, just do the opposite. Just go ahead and pull your cables out of the way. Slide your battery in. Connect your two power cables. And then connect your data cable, which is the small one. You're gonna push it in until you see the clip attach. And then tuck them behind the handle on the battery. Close your door, you're gonna hold it tight, and then just push your lashes, latches down. That's all it takes to change the battery on the Hunter 2.0. To charge your battery for the Hunter 2.0 is really easy. It comes with a standard charger, plug it into the wall. This is gonna be your charging end. On the control panel, it's the connector on the right on the bottom. It's the two pin connector. So you're gonna go ahead and plug that on. Your little latch underneath is gonna be on the bottom. You'll hear it click when you put it on. And you're gonna see the indicator light, which is the Y in the top right corner, turn from green to red. Red means that it's charging. When it's finished charging, it will turn back to green. And then you just disconnect it. For your IO ports, you're gonna find them in two places on the robot. Your main back panel here has your power buttons and some ports. And then at the front of the robot, you have two ports as well. Up front, we have a secondary CAN port and power port. And on the right is a DB9 data port for debugging and updating your firmware. At the back of the robot, you'll see you have a small control panel here. We have a power indicator for the battery. You have your on off switch and a power switch here as well. You have to turn this on and push this to turn it fully on. You have a buzzer. In the bottom row, you have a CAN and power interface port. And the bottom right is your charging port. In the crate, there's also a package with some cables and components inside of it. We'll show you what those are. One of them is a DB9 to USB cable for your data port up front. You're also gonna have a cable that plugs into the CAN bus port on the back. And it's basically a pigtail that just terminates in some cables. And this is for when you're doing your own electronic setup on top to connect to the back of the robot. You're also gonna get a CAN bus to USB adapter, which is this small guy right here. And that is to connect to your CAN bus cables on your pigtail. So then you have a USB connection which can be plugged into your computer or whatever electronic systems you're going to put on top of your robot. You're also gonna have some T-nuts these are nice, big, heavy-duty T-nuts, and these work with the rail system that's on top of the robot 
or mounting all of your sensors and computers or robot arms or whatever you're gonna put on this system. So these are T-nuts and you're just gonna pop off the caps on the end of our rails here and the T-nuts slide right into the rails and then you're gonna put your bolts in and use the plates to mount everything onto the plate and then the plate can mount to the rail system. It's very nice.